Today we're tackling a project I've been waiting to do for a while on building a dedicated grazing area for our farmyard friends. So if you are new here and you don't actually know this bar, we have all of our farmyard friends in these four little pens. I've been kind of breeding them up and kind of hoping I don't get any creepers in there. But I can't keep them in this area forever. So what I'm going to do is make a bunch of areas for the animals to be able to graze in. And hopefully none of the other animals spawn in the wrong ones. So this is the area we're going to use. It's just outside this village. We have got up to that point all the way over here. And it's just going to be this whole part of green land. And we're going to build it up and put these lot in them. But first things first. We need some materials. So I was contemplating what to build these areas out of. Would it be fences? Would it be leaves? Would it be a mixture of both? And I think a mixture of both is going to be a lot, lot better than what I was kind of hoping for. Whoop. So yeah, we're coming over here to our tree farm area. I have got a stack of iron and got some my inventory, and we're going to use that to get a bunch of leaves from these trees so that we can have a mixture and make it look a bit nicer. I think that's going to be so much better than just one plain colour all the time. I also have the trowel mod in here. I don't know if I did say that in the last episode. This will allow me to mix them randomly. <laughs> So I have so much leavage, leavage leaves that I cannot actually get any more. So yeah, let's get this stuff over to there and get some chests set up so that we can get them all ready to get used. All right, so I've brought all these leaves over to this thing. I've brought some dirt and grass over so we can fill any holes that might need to get done and try and level it out so that it looks just a wee bit nicer. But before that, I want to showcase something. So I have this chest here, which I'm going to use for just right clicking on the carrots because we do have the right click harvest mod installed and I'm going to fill up Every single inventory space in this chest will be one crop right clicked and we're going to get an average and I'll showcase why using a fortune 3 hole on these crops will be much more beneficial and I will put the fortune 3 ones in this one. So let me get to that. And done. So I've done both of them and my gosh the results are amazing. So this one is just me going in right clicking, empty hand, no enchantments. As you can see, we get between one and four carrots every single harvest, which 
gives us a total of which gives us an average of 2.6 carrots every single harvest now as you can see there is no one carrots in here there is two at minimum and seven at best that's a lot more carrots this gives us an average of four and a half carrots every single harvest so you get nearly d double almost of the amount of carrots an extra two carrots per harvest when using a fortune three hoe and from what i've noticed i don't know if this is part of the right click harvest mod but you do not use durability when doing it right clicking but you probably will if you hit the carrots when you are farming so yeah it is a lot better to have a diamond hole that is enchanted with fortune 3 to get your crops like a lot better so yeah i will be using this to harvest these fields so that i can then plant more fields of crops but that's for another time because it's getting dark now and i now need to clear out an area and smooth it down a wee bit so that it looks good for these animals all right so one problem we do have is the fact that there's a few beehives kicking about in this area that i do want to kind of rescue and not lose so i'm going to have to go and craft a couple of campfires for this i i hope i've got enough stuff because i cannot remember the recipe for it all right so yeah i do have enough stuff so it's three logs some sticks and some charcoal i'll take three of these just in case and i do have silk touch on my diamond axe which will allow me to pick up the beehives and the campfires straight after it when we get to that point oh which reminds me i should make some trap doors to catch the bees going back in and so that they can't escape back out all right with mini hud we can go and put on a specific info line this one here basically i just need to look at this and it tells me how many bees are in it it says there's zero in this one so that might be the one that we've seen that was flying over our fields which would be quite cool to have close by and this one has two which is really good actually so i'm going to silk touch that grab this and we now have a beehive that has two bees in it uh, honey level is five out of five so we could get some honey from that which i don't really need at the moment but it's good to see it so i don't know about this one um i might leave it a wee bit longer and see if any of the bees come back but i don't see any floating about close by which is a bad sign and it could be that the bees that we did see over here are the ones that are for this hive but yeah i'm going to go sleep and i'm going to start clearing this place out and leveling it off
I ran out of something. It wasn't leaves. It was dirt. So I need to go on a wee trip. That direction. Yes, so I need to go in that direction. And I do really need to find a coordinates thing. This here. So info coordinates scaled will allow me to see the overworld coordinates while I'm in the nether. Which is really handy because I need to go to 943 minus 2568. So 943 is that way and minus is in that direction as well. So I just need to go straight for a bit. Oh, I forgot about you. Well, that's that fix. Anyway. Let me head that direction, and... I'm an idiot! No! Whew! That was lucky. Hello! Anyway. Okay, we're here. Oh, the creeper. Yes, so our portal is just over that hill there. Is that it there? No. But it is just over there. And uh, it was night time when I came out. So I came over here, grabbed the bed, slept. And I noticed this. We have a cherry tree biome. I do want a few saplings for this. So that we can have them at our tree farm. So I'll cut a few of this up. Hopefully we get quite a, f a lot or quite at least a few saplings because like it would be really annoying if this was hard to get uh we've got one there oh there's one here as well right let's take off a few more of these there we go perfect so 11 Nine. oh no no wait more more 16 17 nice awesome Right, so I am here because of this green stuff that is around us. I'm going to jump back over there because that is... Oh. That is kind of where I want to dig it up. It is a bit closer. And hopefully not as much hassle to get the dirt back to base. Because I don't have shulker boxes yet. So I'm having to transport inventories at a time. That's super annoying. I really need to get mending. Soon. 65 levels. Oofed. It's done. 
We have completely leveled out that one. everything. So we have all this bit all grassed up. We do have a bit of sand left over because I feel like taking away too much of the sand just makes it feel a bit unnatural. And then we've got all this bit and all this bit. Now I was going to do this bit up here, but to be honest with you, this is more than enough for what I want to do with the sheeps, the cows, the pigs and the chickens. And to be honest, I don't even think I'm going to put the chickens in its separate field. I might just build a hut, but that will be for a different episode. This area here, I want to use... Why is there so much dirt? Oh, there must be sheep over here. Yeah, this area here, I want to use for a moss farm, actually. So I'll build a road that will come all the way up here that will connect to a moss farm. Because I need moss for rooty dirts. No, no. I need moss for the azalea trees. And then I need the azalea trees for rooty dirt. And then I've got all these cherry trees here all set up as well. Now, these are really annoying because they grow in a strange way. So I might need to change the design of this and move these cherry trees. And the reason I'm growing the cherry trees is because of these logs. Like, it's a weird purple, but, you know, I think that would work for a kind of rich estate theme. More than anything. So that's why I have them. But, yeah, everything's all done. And now I need to get the hedges in. Yeah, so I'm liking it. It looks different, like completely different from this. Like this looks okay, like it's just plain. But this just gives you a kind of feel of here. This is different. Yeah, like there's different kinds of plants and foliage in the hedge, which I think just adds a wee bit extra. And I like it. So I've got it all the way down to here. And then it's like a sharp turn off in this direction. So this is going to go all the way around here and then back around here to here and this is going to be one field and i think this one's going to be for the sheep because i'm going to build here a wool farm i think this is still in the spawn chunks yes so that will run constantly so i will always have wool available so that's why i want to put that there but yeah so this my starter house is going to turn into a wool barn farm sort of thing and hopefully i can get all the dyes but yeah i need to i need to keep going and i'm using trowel again just because i enjoy using the trowel for the randomness i wish tweakaroo worked but i have no idea why it doesn't and if anybody knows why could you please tell me well these guys show up a lot yo Still love that animation. Uh, but yeah, uh, we are finished one area. I like it. I need to go in and clear a few things out. Oh, hello. There's some things that shouldn't be there. Okay. That's annoying. But yeah, now I need to get the sheep in here. And I need to set up a gate area so that I can come in and out quite easy. Gate in place. And, oh, that was a spider jockey there. Now we need to get the sheep. Right, come on little sheep, let's get you into your new home. Oh no! Oh, how many did I lose? Two? That's not too bad. Yeah man. And they are in. So this is what it's going to start to look like and hopefully they'll just spread all the way out, all the way up to here. Might come in and breed them a wee bit more, just to get a wee bit more, depending on how they spread out. But I think that's the sheep one pretty much done. It's just a case of knocking this down and building the barn. But yeah, I like it. Now for the other three. Like I said, chickens are going to have a wee sort of barn where they lay eggs and stuff like that. Cows, I'm going to give it a massive area, probably this bit here. And then obviously the pigs can have this bit here. I need to quickly run through these leaves and go sleep actually. Yeah, this is looking good. 
So if I go all the way down to here, this is going to be a kind of road that leads down here. And I'm thinking I might split here and here and put the chickens here. And then this is the pigs and this is all the cows. As you can see, I've already kind of got myself prepared for this. But the other ones are going to be fun. Oof. Anyway, let's get going with the last bit. Yeah, outline's done. I like. I'm loving where this is going. But we do have some farm yard animals spawning in, which we will need to get rid of. But I need to link this... Oh. Uh, oh, I'm nearly out of spruce. I might need to go and restock up. Yeah, I just need to join these two parts up and I'm ready to release some animals. Okay, that's the cows going in. Now for the pigs. Uh, I'm just going to use this stuff here and just line it up like this. And then we just take out these. I can one, two, three. Excuse me, piggy. Uh, I can do that as well, and that'll be our gate entrance into there. Oh, I don't have enough pigs as I thought I did. Whoops. And uh, once they are all done, it's a case of getting this lot over. Now I do have a quicker way of getting this lot over and it involves eggs and just letting them go. Um, but yeah, it's either that or I've got to try and herd them all the way down this. Which would not be fun. So let them go in, them go in. Breed them up a wee bit because I don't think I've got enough to fill. Because uh, yeah, that doesn't seem like a lot. They're slowly spreading out. Oh, I actually really enjoy this. I'm going to try and upgrade the pig pen a wee bit because obviously there's mud. What do pigs love the best? Mud. So getting mud in that would be quite fun. I'm thinking about getting like wet mud in a few of the fence gate areas to kind of simulate overuse of walking through. But yeah, I love these. They're so nice. Like, it's weird how something so so small can change a landscape so much. And we've got area for road. We've still got our iron farm here, which I'm going to build a wee building for. I'm going to have the sheep shearing area here. I might put it there just because it's close. But yeah, I'm enjoying this.